What is up YouTube? Welcome to the Australia slash New Zealand tour. We are currently in Dubai Airport. Flight 1 is down, flight 2 is to go. Nowhere near there yet. The next like 16 hours. Fortunately, I managed to upgrade to business class on the Dubai flight as of some availability, so I treated myself. However, the second flight is completely full in first and business class, so it's going to be a different experience. The first flight was super easy, slept well, ate well, ate maybe too much, but now the party starts. So my brother is actually traveling with me. He's currently ordering me a flat white from Pret and Mange over there somewhere, and I'm sat down. Do you know, decided the plan of action, when to stay awake till and all that jazz. It's currently 9 a.m. Dubai time, which is like 6 a.m. UK time. Um, so I've had like four hours sleep. I'm gonna check on the week to drop actually how much sleep I had. And yeah, then I guess go and attack the uh, the flight. But yeah, it's gonna be a, t a tough one. Bash. Right guys, so here's the snack line up the plane. Obviously 16 hours, you can't overpack. Gone for M and M's. Go buy one, get one free. One crunch, one peanut. Also gone for digestives. 30% light. I've never heard of them ever. But one got something slightly more savoury, but still sweet. These dime snacks. Never seen them before. The MVP, Jake's choice. Linda. And then two big bottles of water. And also I've gone for and sandwich and two protein bars. You will be served food on there, however, 16 hours is a long time to not have any control of your own calorie intake. So that's very unhealthy and I probably got shit by the end of the flight. But snacking kills time, so that's the lineup. So this is the whoop score. We've got three hours 30, so we'll look, we've got any deep sleep. Not good. Not good, I'm well, not excited, I'm looking forward to see what it says tomorrow for a 16 hour flight. Day one in Wellington, folks. We landed last night, managed to get a around 10 hours in bed. The whoop band says I slept seven and a half, but feeling rather refreshed. It's my brother's birthday, who is there. Uh, he is a 23 today, so I'm gonna put him through a nice workout to uh, mark the occasion, get a coffee. We have just enjoyed this beautiful view. Well, the sun has rose on us. What a nice place, however, I'm pretty disappointed that this place is asleep until 9 a.m. Clearly, as you couldn't get a coffee anywhere. So the plan for today is do a workout, get a nice breakfast, do some walking around, and just soaking up the vibes, really. Not much of a plan. Probably meet the dude who are doing the party tonight for a coffee at some point. And in general, just make sure we are feeling nicely rested for tonight. I'll definitely get another sleep in today. But yeah, tour starts now. Definitely feel better than I thought I would. Yesterday was actually, in hindsight, wasn't that bad. We managed to stay awake all day, got some food. Um, we actually missed the connection flight because the customs were super slow. But yeah, we made it here alive. Only good vibes now. Let's enjoy this time down under. So, a pleasant, pleasant morning afternoon. It's now nearly 3 p.m. We have done a 10K walk almost, and we did the 5K walk this morning, so it's well and truly uh, a jet lag walk off. We've had a nice little croissant. We just went for some tacos then, which were decent. 
and sat and had a very nice ice cream on the rocks. So we're gonna try and go back and chill for a better thing. The vibe is real in Wellington. It's good tunes everywhere, especially in the background. And yeah, it's a nice place. Really enjoyed the walks. And we've now got four hours until dinner. So a textbook strategy would be a good sleep before, well, I'm not sure I'll tie down, but maybe when I lie down, I'll be tired, we'll see. The gig's at midnight tonight, so there is time after the dinner to rest, but it's annoying after this. Say you've got ready for a dinner, then you got to get unchanged, try and nap. It'll be better to nap before the dinner, but we will see, folks, we will see. So, margarita for me, non-alcoholic, passion for my brother, because it's an effective wisdom tooth, and the medication will not allow him to drink. We are in the hotel bar, boiling up for the night. It is two minutes past ten. How many calories are on the watch? 1,168. Suppose the club is looking like a sellout tonight. We've got pulling welly. Let's go. We made it through last night's gig with flying colours. We had a lot of nap beforehand, went for a few drinks downstairs, and then now we're back at that bagel thing we were at yesterday getting a coffee. We've got about seven minutes to pick up, which is sound. And then we've got to head to Sydney, and I think it's not a direct flight um, via Wellington. Headache when there was direct flights, but oh well, there's a miscommunication. So heading there now, playing today at 8 till 10 and then it's chill time where we can really catch up on sleep and relax so yeah big push today big gig i'm really looking forward to it and i'll show you uh, along the ride currently at auckland airport i can't keep up waiting for the final flight of the day i was about to say the final flight of the week well it is the final flight of the week we've got a flight tomorrow morning to gold coast but yeah hopefully get some sleep on the plane there won't be much time to rest before the gig Good one incoming, I'm sure. Good one incoming. Hopefully, we'll get some good clips and see how it goes. where I'm playing next weekend. I'm playing 12 till 2 there on Sunday. Well, this weekend it's coming. That's gonna be a sick one. Now we're heading to Byron where it's gonna be a chill out for a few days, finally catch up on some sleep. And we're gonna end this part of the vlog here. Good morning, YouTube. It is Friday. It's time to get back to business. There's been a bit of a gap in filming because on Monday, Tuesday, I was exhausted. Honestly, like mentally and physically, I was just like, oh, I couldn't even, I just couldn't be bothered. Um, didn't really feel great. I realized the absence of routine really affected me. Everything from sleep, uh, training, food. So yeah, I just took some time to really just relax, enjoy Byron with my brother. He's got a little cold as well. Probably the same situation, but he actually got a bit ill off it. His wisdom seems affected as well. However, I've not been ill. I've just not felt the best the first two days. Did some sick stuff, some walking in the jungle, walked up to this lighthouse a couple of times, but all in all, we're just chilled really. You know, the traveling was always gonna get me. Last time I flew back from Australia after the first weekend, like I only played for one weekend, so I didn't really experience that crash because I had to come home after it. Um, but this time I really felt that Tuesday, you're almost like, oh, I wanna go and do everything, enjoy everything here. But then you also have to pay the price from all the traveling. So 
not to be hashtag DJ problems, but hashtag DJ reality. So we're on train now, and I get some good food, and I head to Brisbane today. The weather's not been great. We had some nice sunshine yesterday. It's been really, really cool, especially the last two days. Yesterday I spent an afternoon just doing some journaling, some reading. That was amazing. Got clear on some on some things. So Charles want to get back. I want to prioritize running and yoga again. Posted just doing bodybuilding all the time. Um, well, I don't do that all the time. I do quite a mix of training, but I want to prioritize running. I would like to do something half marathon maybe. Uh, what else would we go up to? Hey, lots of good food. Train most days. Lots of steps. And all in all, had a good time. I think this weekend's going to be sick as well. I've been on my phone a bit too much. It's so weird, like waking up and everyone else is awake. And then with Syntho, the work, etc. It's been very challenging, I'm going to be honest. But yeah, I'm feeling good mentally now. Didn't after the, the, the weekend just because of tiredness. And I am a creature of habit. So yeah, let's go and get this workout in, in this ropey Byron gym. And get some breakfast and head to Brisbane. How is this even Australian weather? This is fucking horrible. Adelaide, we've arrived. So we are currently at some bar, which is in the hotel. It's actually an Ibis hotel. Obviously in the UK, Ibis are quite budget hotels, but it seems like a rather nice one. We've got some food. I'm pretty tired from last night. Jake didn't come last night as he wasn't feeling good. Now he feels good. So he went from wisdom to, to not feeling good. But now he can party tonight. We're not gonna go crazy. Playing in one hour's time. Having the first ring now, espresso martini. Probably have a few tequila shots today. Had two hours and 50 minutes sleep on a whoop strap. I really need to learn to sleep in because it's not good for mental health. After lack of sleep, hangover, travel, it makes you feel like shit. But I feel fine now, but in the morning I was like, felt fine. But then when you go out and walk around, you start to just feel like, oh. But we made it, got a nap on the plane. Let's go. <laughs> We are walking around Adelaide after last night. Last night's gig, it was a fun one, nice open air spot. Feels quite UK vibes, this little strip I'm down. It's like a typical high street from Big City. But yeah, the pipe was cool. Um, you can tell the scene is smaller here, but the dude's doing a great job putting parties. Had fun, it was a really cool setup actually. The sound of the booth was good. Played a lot of records, um, which I haven't really so far on the tour due to problems. And yeah, drank many pints, drank a lot of tequila. And now ready for the final frontier. This one must look a bit wonky. It's the light, I think it's the light. So yeah, last bit of the tour tonight. Well, last bit of the Australia New Zealand tour. And I'm sure it's gonna be a good one. Playing at the Oxford Club. Uh, I think it's the Oxford Club in Sydney. And yeah, today, I was asked to do a podcast today with some dudes from Sydney, but I might decline. My cognitive function feels all right, but I'm just not sure I can really be asked. Okay.
very much for watching.